How you doing folk? Charlie out and about. Yeah, this is a video I'll be wanting to do, but it, it's now time. It's now time to go and pay homage to the wee man. I had the privilege of seeing him play. And uh, today, the 13th of March, that marks the anniversary. That's 16 years ago that we lost the wee man. And as I say, I had the privilege to watch him play. So I've got Robert's beanie. This is Robert's. That says that was Robert's beanie. I've got my Lisbon line t-shirt on. I've got my Celtic tat with me. I've got a poppy cross to lay. I've got Susan's scarf. That was a scarf we bought. Susan, the uh, first time she ever went to Park Heed. I'll take that with me. And uh, you've probably guessed where I'm going. I'm going to pay homage to Jinky. Jimmy Johnson. The wee man. The Lord of, the Lord of the Wing. He was born James Conley Johnson. He was born on the 30th of September 1944. Uh, he died on the 13th of March 2006. His debut game was against Kilmarnock the 27th of March 1963, where Celtic beat 6-0 from the Kilmarnock. His last game was against St Johnson the 26th of April 1975, and Celtic won 2-1. He had 23 caps for Scotland. Uh, sadly, Jimmy was diagnosed with motor neurons disease in 2002. In December 2009, a statue of Jinxie was unveiled at Celtic Park. Jinxie has also been immortalised in a range of diamond studded Fabergé eggs. You know, a lot of people get that privilege. And uh, he once said in his blog, I was always an entertainer and the pitch was my stage. The whistle meant it was showtime. There you go. So I always remember Jimmy Johnson. He had 130 goals for uh, Celtic and he had 23 caps for Scotland. So there you go. The biggest guy in the park. And uh, I always remember my dad taking me to a uh, Crawford, down to the pitches near the railway for a trial for the football team down there. And uh, after the, after the game, the guy says to my dad, "He's a wee bit wee, isn't he?" Meaning me. And my dad looked at him and says, "Have you never saw Jimmy Johnson?" <laughs> and the guy went, "Point taken." Aye, so I, I, I kept going and then uh, a scout came to the house in 1979 for St Mum to give me a trial. And my dad says, you're too late. He's joined the army, he's away. And that was it. So that was me. So I'm going to pay homage to Jimmy Johnson today. He's up at uh, Bell's Hall Cemetery, which is no far from here. I've also been to uh, Tommy Burns and uh, Billy Angus, VC. So I thought it was time on uh, Johnny Thompson. I went to Johnny Thompson's, our goalkeeper. And uh, I realised the day I'll go and visit Jimmy Johnson and I'll pay homage to the wee man and Jinxie. Anyway, so come with me. Let's go and see the wee man. Now, well, once again, I find myself in a graveyard. I'm a bit busy for remembering Jimmy Johnson that day. I've been to go in my bed. I was having a duvet day. 
I just couldn't be bothered. I'm doing like a yo yo. So when I remember Jimmy Johnson, and I knew it was his anniversary, 13th of March, that was 16 years since we, we lost the wee man. I always remember him playing football. It was a sight to see. People my age will, will remember him. That's why you go to the next name, Jinxie, because he could jinx anybody. So there's Jimmy Johnson's final resting place there. The greatest ever self. Precious and everlasting memories of James Conway Johnson. Died the 13th of March 2006, age 61. Grand and great grand and much loved dad and to marry Aileen James, beloved husband of Agnes Dunkley. You'll never walk alone. Sleep well, Jimmy Johnson. His wee Alfie, the poppy cross, his Robert's beanie, Susan's scarf, my Celtic top. And of course, By their guiles that support the support Celtic. Johnson, left a pop across the red rose. Sleep well. He always said he was an entertainer. And when the whistle went, it was showtime. You're never forgotten, Jinxie. Yeah, I feel good that I've come out today to pay homage to Jimmy Johnson. To say, I was going to have a duvet day. I just couldn't be bothered to get out of my bed. It's a waiting game for me and Susan, but we'll get there in the end. It's a lovely, this is a new bit of the Bells Hill Cemetery. So if you ever come up, you come in the main gate, just follow the wall right room on your left and then you come down to a new gate come through the new gate and that'll bring you just to down here and just drive round and you'll 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 know miss Jimmy Johnson's so there we go I'll have a wee cup of coffee now I'll speak to you all soon thanks for coming my baby Lisbon Lions. Well, I've had my coffee and a porridge. That's me stop at Bell's Hall Cemetery, paying homage to Jimmy Johnson, who was 61 when he passed away. Uh, all them that's abroad, 
All the Celtic supporters that's abroad, I'm going to go now to Parkhead and I'll show you the statue. Because I, I mentioned that the statue was unveiled, Jimmy Johnson, and it's in the, at the main entrance to Parkhead. So I'm going to go to Parkhead and show uh, all them the, the statues that's there. Jimmy Johnson, uh, Brother Wilford, Jock Steen, and uh, Billy McNeil, Caesar. There we go. So thanks for coming with me today. I feel a lot better. I feel a lot better within myself that I've got uh, out and about and came here today. So thanks for coming with me. Charlie and Alfie out and about.